guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. Um, my opinion about open marriage, I would say, is um, is is more or less preferable, and it's better to have an open marriage because definitely everyone will be aware that you are married. Not like um, some married people. They are behaving as if they are single. Understand? Like in the idea of um, putting on rings. You see some, some, some married people, they don't put on their rings. You will not know. You can't even know that they are married. So I think one of these ways to know that we, someone is married is to be open. Put on your rings. You understand? So that people will know that you are married. Not you are married, you are... There's no, there's nothing to show for it that you are married. So my opinion is, um, I, it's more or less putting on the ring so that people can know that you are married, not hiding it. Okay. Sorry, what is the effect of open marriage on children? Okay, the effect of open marriage on children is that it promotes, um, it promotes morals. In the sense that um, they get to see marriage as as more or less is not a is not just is not just a relationship, but it's more than that. Do you think why some marriage will last longer if they are open in marriage? Yes, most marriage will last longer when most marriage are open. At least family members will be able to know and other people around them will be able to know that these ones, they are married. Do you prefer cheating or open marriage? Do you rather prefer cheating and open marriage? Okay, if I prefer cheating than open marriage. Yes, I will say that <laughs> cheating is, is not good at all and it's not healthy because so many things can happen in the sense that somebody can also be involved in somebody can also be infected with a disease are you getting that? and it's going to affect so many things it's going to affect the 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 opposite sex so cheating in marriage is very bad and is is against is against good moral and is against god my advice to open marriage i'm a christian and according to our doctrine, God said that one man, one wife. It's not good to marry more than one wife. It's not good to marry more than one wife. So I advise those who want to venture to marry more than one wife. They should not do that. A lot of problems accompany that. It's not good to marry more than one wife. Okay, my mommy, do you think some marriage can last long if they have no open marriage? Some marriage can last. Do you think that some marriage can last, last longer if they have open marriage? If they have? Yes. Uh, it depends on understanding. Like some other religion, they believe in marrying more than one wife. They believe in marrying more than one wife. So if they're good for them, if they can understand themselves, good for them. But my own religion said, one man, one wife. Okay. Sir, what, what, what is the effect of the, as in, of polygamy to marry the children? Uh, it brings disunity. Polygamous marriage is not good. It brings disunity among, you know, reverence between the two family like this uh, children from this wife the other half sister half brother they always fight each other and in case if the man dies there'll be a problem how to share the man's property and some wives some goes to the extreme to use charm to destroy the destiny of the other 
uh, other wives' children's lives. You know, it's not advisable, in short, to marry more than one wife. A lot of problems. Some men has died earlier before their death. Are you hearing me? Some men have gone to the grave before their time because of entering into polygamous marriage. It has a lot of disadvantage. You know, some of them that doesn't know God, they will do a lot of things to grab the heart of that man. You know, two people are now fighting for the love of that man. And love is only one. So it's not good, my son. And I advise you, don't venture to that. If you want to live long, marry one wife. And God will help you. Open marriage, which is also known as polygamous marriage, right? Well, uh, what I understand by that, it's... Uh, a man gets married to two or more or multiple wives. That's what I know. Like what is the first of opening marriage on children? What is what? The first of opening marriage on children. The effect. Well, uh, so to begin with, I think with humanity, to begin with, it's actually a practice that it is not really encouraged to be done because of what goes after, because there's always jealousy. There's always beef between the two families and uh, the children. They, even though they know that okay, they are families, they have the same father per se. But then somehow, maybe because one child feels that the father treats the other child better than the other wife or the other child better, so there's cause for jealousy. And of course, we could see that in display even way back in the time of Jacob when he got married to. Uh, different wife, I will know the beef and they almost kid Joseph. So it's always like that. So the disadvantage is always beef between this and that, and there's always not peace. It's always unrest. I also, we also have a show to that uh, Fuji house of commotion, you know. So that's just like a plain example of what the effect is. Whether some marriage will last longer if they have polygam i think every marriage we do though sometimes that could not be a yastic in terms of marriage there's actually no template to it but then i think a single marriage a monogamous kind of marriage is always better than the open marriage i think it's so uh, the families will not last long if it's just polygamy because how are we going to talk about lasting long when there's always conflict fight here and there well my understand about opening marriage is that both the husband and the wife have the right to do whatever they like, have another date, have another relationship as they so wish. But I don't think it's a good thing for any reasonable couple to do. It's not a decision that any reasonable couple should take, so that's it. What is the of opening marriage children? It will affect them psychologi um, psychologically because I mean, how do you even raise your children in an open marriage where they have that mentality that when they also grow up and get married too, they can also do the same thing? Because children live by, um, by example that the elderly ones lay for them. So if you as a parent, you're engaging in an open marriage, definitely when your children grow up, they will pick the same habit from you and they will also do the same thing. So it's not good at all. So you don't think somebody will last longer if they have open marriage? It won't. It will end in divorce or breakup, so it won't, it won't, it won't at all. Well, I don't prefer any, but if at all you want to do, it's better you cheat outside without your spouse knowing than making it an open, open something. It doesn't make any sense, but I don't advise anyone. I don't even want anyone. I don't like anyone. My opinion about open marriage depends on the type of open marriage you are talking about. Uh, when we say open marriage, uh, it means that the former marriage whom you have already married to is only aware and allow for such a marriage to take place. Therefore, you will have more than one wife. So what next do you need to know about open marriage? Open marriage can also be done online. You can have more than two concubines online and all of them are aware that, yes, they are married to one man. Do you think some, some marriage can last if they are open marriage? Of course, a marriage can last if they are open married, if the culture allows such a thing. 
especially you know some Islamic religion, they allow for the man to marry more than one wife. The same thing with the South, I mean the Eastern region or the Southeastern region, in which there is a particular uh, title you have, you are allowed to marry at least three wives, which is called the Inze, or when you are a chief. So what is the effect of opening marriage on children? What was the difference? The effect of open marriage. The effect of open marriage, we call it polygamous. The effect of, you see, there will be no concentration on the training of the children. Yes. Sir. There will be no concentration on the training of the children, especially the man will not have much interest in training of the children, except the wife or the mother takes proper care of the child. Sir. When you come to open marriage, remember that you have polygamous situation. So, you know, in a polygamous situation, there will be competition. Do you ever cheat or have an open marriage? Do I do what? Do you ever cheat or have open and open marriage? Um, open marriage is far better than cheating. I think open marriage is far better than cheating because it's an agreed. If it is open, it is agreed with the former wife you are married. And the culture allows that. So, you know, cheating is another different bargain, which is adultery. And in fact, it both, in all ways, is wrong. Open marriage. Well, as a man, it's, it's, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. For a man, actually. But for a lady, it's, it's not good. Yeah. If there's money. Yeah. What is the best of opening children? Well, if there's money, like I said earlier, there won't be much effect because everything the kid need will be provide, provided for. But if there's no marriage, sorry, if there's no money, it will affect the kids mentally and elsewise. Will you tell your family member about your marriage? Will I tell them? They should know about it. Yeah. Uh, anybody that, that feed in it to know it, that does not know it already. I can tell them, why not? But I won't advise them, though, if they don't have money, they have money, they can go ahead if they want to. As an African, uh, we are prone to polygamous marriage, where a man marries more than one wife, or the essence of labor and all of that. But as the world evolves, polygamy is beginning to take the back seats of marriages, as it were. So. In the current times, polygamy is no longer in vogue. It's no longer in vogue, rather. But as an African and as a Nigerian, polygamy is not against your culture, any culture or any state or any tribe in Nigeria, basically. Uh, the effect is that. Um, most of them do not really have the care and understanding of their father because the father will have divided attention from other women and his economic aspect and all of that so the effect is the father may not really have that bond with the kids because of proximity and because of uh, plurality of the kids as it were so in essence it has a multiplier effect on the society and the way the kids see their father and the way the kids see their mother. The kids tend to be closer to their mother compared to their father. Do you think that some marriage will last longer if they are open married? As an African, if, uh, if, the, we, if the women are submissive, the tendency for it to last longer is there. But if they are not submissive, uh, then the likelihood for a broken marriage is high. Uh, what I understand by opening marriage is that uh, in Africa, yeah, women, men are permitted to marry as many wives as they can. Like me now, I already have one woman who I love so much, but I still the eye one small girl for outside where they think say, by God's grace, I will still make her my second wife. So what is the purpose of the opening marriage on the children? On the, on the children. On the children. I don't see anything as an effect on it. The thing is that my grandfather married up to seven wives, and the thing now brought challenges between the wives. All of them were trying their best to make sure that their children uh, 
brought up in a good way that it, it becomes a something of competition that uh, everybody wants his her own children to become the best. At the end of the day, my father, my grandfather was able to have a good family. And uh, what I still understand there is that uh, it depends on the man. It depends on your ability to control your family. That is what matters most here in Africa. Women are permitted to marry as many wives as we can. Uh, me, I really support that uh, polygamy family of 18. Polygamous family of 18, I really, I'm really in support of it because uh, I can say that uh, uh, and that uh, the absence of that polygamy is what is making many of, many of our ladies today that are being unmarried because everybody wants to stick to one man, you see. And the population of women everywhere are many, more than the, that of men. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Could you either cheat or have open marriage? I rather have an open marriage than open marriage than cheat because it's something that now you are doing it with boldness. You have the boldness in you as a man. You stand as a man to do it with your whole heart and openly than something that you'll be doing in secret and be killing yourself. At the end of the day, your wife will catch you and it will become a problem in your family. But when you have an open marriage, your wife knows that, yes, this man is capable for bringing this woman here. Now, now she has to sit up. You understand? Your first wife has to sit up. The second wife has to also sit up to make the family, everybody, every one of them wants their own children to become the best. So that is what I see in it. Polygamous marriage is kind of marriage that a man has more than one wife, maybe like two, three, or so. So what is the effect of polygamous marriage on children? The effect of polygamous marriage on children, if care is not taken and there is something like a, a breakup or something between the parents. Uh, it falls back on the children in the sense that they will not enjoy the unity of the father and the mother. They will not enjoy the unity of the father and the mother. And at times, they struggle to get their needs. Like if the father cannot take care, like, like, like let me say, the father have about six wives, and each wife have about three, three children, and he can only provide food for just like five children so they have to struggle with that food or they have to struggle with that material so as to go around to every one of them i don't think so anyway i can't say much about that because i'm not from a polygamous family so i don't think so marriage and uh, what i understand by that is that uh, it's a situation where you marry more than one wife you know, when you marry two, three, four, five, six wives. And what is the effect of opening marriage on children? Ah, it's always difficult. Too. It's always difficult. You know, it, it makes them not to, not to understand each other just because they are not, the same, they are not from the same parents. They are not from the same mother. So that alone will not allow them to flow very well as one, you understand? And another effect is that they don't really take care of those children the way they ought to because this one will give birth, this one will give birth, that one will give birth, so the children will be many. So maybe the, the father cannot actually take care of many of them. So they're always not meeting up to the targets because there are many, they are polygamous. Even the rich ones that go into polygamous, there's still many effects on them, talkless of poor. They are, in fact, they are the ones that bring about poverty in this country. Uh, it's polygamous. They, 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 they had to poverty in this country, Nigeria. Polygamous, to me, is bad. I don't know why people are doing it. It's not good. I, I don't want to do it. I, I pray that God should help me so that I will not do such thing. So it's bad. It's very, very bad. Okay, sir. Do you have seeds or have you open marriage? Ah, oh, my. this is a very big question, actually. But I will answer it the way I feel. You understand? Because this question is personal. Uh, but I will answer it the way I feel. And to me, to me, I'm a Christian. Do you understand? 
I'm a Christian, and our um, our culture in Christianity, we can't marry more than wife. For us not to share our love, you know, our love has to be intimate, not. Uh -huh. So, so for me, I can't go for both. <laughs> Do you understand? Because of who I am, I can't go for both. I'll just get my wife, marry my wife, and we plan for our children. And the world can be better. Because when me and my wife understand each other, and we give birth to two or three kids, we are five. So we have not, we have not caused any chaos in the society. We can manage ourselves, we can guide ourselves, we can know what's up. But when we are many, that's when we don't know how to take care of ourselves. And that's when... That you can't just see many trouble in the society, in this country, because of polygamous. Me, I don't like it. If you give birth to two kids, you can take care of them perfectly. Spend money on them, send them to anywhere you want to send them. But once they are more than, when, once they are from two women, this one will be dragging the father to do more on his side. The other woman will be dragging the man to do for his side. So, that is a chaos, and that will also reflect in the country, not only in the family. This is how we pollute Nigeria, and we are, we are complaining Nigeria is no good, Nigeria is no good. It starts from family. Those many, many, many boys of nowadays, now, they don't even have money, but they have three wives. I, have, I know people that don't even have money to take care of those wives, but you already have them. What do you think? What do you think? So, this is where our problem come from first. So let's let's see how we can talk to people to minimize their libido. Hi wonderful people, my name is Emiola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Emiola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that there's pandemic in the land. We need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose masks to be protected above all guys let's stay safe and that's it on trending for today many thanks for staying here on annual badmos tv remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during this